Think ChatGPT is the only AI game in town? Think again. Perplexity AI is designed to pull accurate and relevant information from the web. It simplifies that search process, making it the perfect tool for busy educators. You can use Perplexity AI just like Google. Search the web, but instead of having to sift through all of those web pages, Perplexity will summarize all that information for you, making it clear and concise with citations and direct sources to boot. You might be wondering how Perplexity differs from ChatGPT. Let me break it down for you. ChatGPT is primarily designed for generating human-like text based on the input it receives, mainly used for conversational AI, coding, language translation, and content creation. While Perplexity AI, on the other hand, focuses on providing direct answers and assisting with information retrieval, acting more like a conversational search engine. ChatGPT has more of an open conversation, allowing you to ask follow-up questions and letting you steer the conversation in whichever way you choose. While Perplexity AI provides concise answers to specific queries, helping you streamline that process of finding information quickly and efficiently. And while ChatGPT is something we all love and adore, when it comes to research, it's time to shine the spotlight on a new AI tool. Let me walk you through Perplexity. To start, we're gonna head over to perplexity.ai and you guys will notice you don't even have to sign up for an account to get started. However, if you do want to save all of your searches to review at a later date, you will need an account for this. The UI is simple. Just start typing your question or your topic and similar to Google, it will come up with a few suggestions for you. So I'm gonna finish typing, is AI safe for students? And just like that, Perplexity will come up with a list of sources and all of the information that it is summarized and pulled from those sources with citations throughout. You'll notice that there's not a lot of added or repeated information in this answer like some other AI tools have. Just quality information with sources that can be verified. If you find that this information isn't exactly what you were looking for, you can always ask a follow-up question or Perplexity gives a list of related queries that you can use. On the side, you can see that we can search for any images or videos that are also related to this query. This is quick, easy, and trusty. This could be your next replacement for Google. That way you can get a whole bunch of information at once instead of sifting through multiple web pages. So that's really the gist of using Perplexity. So simple. However, let me show you a few advanced features that you can use that way you can take full advantage. Let's search with a focus in mind. That way you can get a more tailored response. To do that, we'll go to new thread to start a new search and you can click on the focus and see all of your different options. I love using the social one if you're having issues with a product or a tool. That way you can search Reddit and get real people's thoughts and opinions. For this example, let's do an academic paper and search for different trends in technology. From there, we can enter and search it up and will give us a similar response, but this time, this time a little bit more tailored to the academic side. Next, let's also search up using a PDF. So you can also attach a PDF to your search. That way you can ask Perplexity to pull out any information to summarize those key points, anything, you name it. So I have a PDF pulled up here. We can open that, ask any quick questions, and go ahead to get our results. My next tip you will have to be signed in for, and it's to create collections. So let's go back to one of our AI tool searches, and we wanna add it to a new collection. This way you can save all of, similar, all of your similar searches in one place and add some customizations to it, kind of like making a custom GPT. So from here, we can add it to a new collection or if you've already created one. So we can do AI in the classroom. You can add an emoji if needed, give it a quick description and give it instructions. That way, every time you do a search, the AI will take those into account. So you can do things like, I want the answers in bullet points, or it can be, I want the descriptions to have a focus on student safety. Then whenever you search in that format again, you can get those, you can take that prompt into consideration. Let's give a quick example. So we have that focus on students and in a quick bullet point form. My very last tip is for some setting changes. So when you have your account, you can go to that gear box and let's scroll down to until we see the AI data retention. We're gonna turn this off that way your searches aren't being used to help train that AI model. 
And that's everything you need to know to get started with Perplexity. Give it a whirl and see how it works and see how much time it saves you instead of searching through pages upon pages to gather your information. Great for comparing and contrasting, gathering different opinions and feedback, and diving deeper into research faster than ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and follow us on all of the socials. Thank you.